Hello gentlemen, welcome to another video. I'm Nicole. <laughs> Very excited to share um, with you on another important topic. Should you ask her to go uh, get a screen for um, sexual transmitted disease or infection? Should you ask your new girlfriend, your wife before marriage or your partner that uh, she has to go and get tested so you can get to know her uh, status before you can actually have sex with her the answer is yes you have to you have to for yourself and you have to for people who depend on you so you're gonna have to understand that your health is more important than having sex it's more important than that five or ten minutes or one minute's pleasure it's more important than anything so you can't just meet a girl at the bar and there you go you buy condoms and you have sex with her no that's kind of a low bar a gentleman a man of honor who does respect himself will have a little bit of respect for himself feeling only doesn't kill so you can feel like your testosterone level is high or you have lots of sperm build up in yourself it will never kill you you can feel like having sexual intercourse and keep that feeling for weeks for months for years it will never kill you but sleeping with the wrong person getting uh, the wrong or getting a viral infection or a sexual uh, transmitted disease or std or sti will definitely gonna kill you in one way to the other so it, those things those viruses uh, do suppress your immune system they will affect you in so many ways so you can't trade a good half of 45 minutes sexual pleasure no, it's not worth it so you're going to understand that not every girl should get to know you not your uh, your, your penis you shouldn't be you know uh, <coughs> making entrance into every single vagina that moves around your, your your place your area your eyes or wherever you go so you're gonna have to understand that so i just i want to keep it real it's all about human anatomy i hope you get more comfortable with calling everything by its name because it's it's human anatomy everything is there in the textbook you can open it pictures and labels are actually <laughs> are all describing that so get comfortable as i'll be calling everything by its name as it's written in the textbook so just relax so yes before you can sleep with any woman any any person you meet in life you get you're gonna have to get tested that's why one night stand is not encouraged here because it will be difficult to get to know if that girl has have has ever had a syphilis or was tested positive for any other sexual transmitted disease infections hiv and so forth because all you have it's few hours to get the condoms and have sex and then regret afterwards because there's a lot of things you know we get when we have sex as human being it, it's not just sexual transmitted disease infection it's also demon transfer we get a lot of demons we get bad energy that people once you sleep with them your life won't be the same you will fail in your business in your career there's so much damage that will okay in your life why because you have collected the wrong energy you slept with the wrong person but that's a topic of another day for today's topic i just want you to understand how important it is for you to ask you know for a girl to go get that you know std panel done at the hospital or the lab and bring it to you so you can you know get to know i know it's kind of odd you just met someone and asking so did did were you syphilis no it's kind of odd you, what you can do as a gentleman is actually to volunteer to go with her you guys can go together you give your blood to the lab to the hospital they will run the test they will tell you if you know the person your partner has gonorrhea is trichomonas is syphilis whatever sexual transmitted uh, infection so sexual transmitted infection is an infection that you get you know via sexual contact so whether you choose to have a vagina sex you have anal sex you have oral sex sex is still sex and you can get a sexual transmitted infection you can have infection when you're having sex whether it's protected with your expensive condom or unprotected you can still have it you're gonna have to be smart you're gonna have to want to be healthier and then just enjoying the pleasure of climax or orgasm or whatever that it is you know for that one minute and tomorrow you have hiv you are hiv you are positive or you are you have herpes or you have syphilis and it's just gonna realize so much messed up and it's not good so yes so when should you the first thing we said you must um uh, you need to know your status as well so before you sleep with her, you both of you need to go get tested you know get that screen uh, you get the screening 
get to, to request that panel of uh, STD uh, from the lab or from the hospital, get to know. And the second thing is if you are in an on and on, on and off relationship with your partner, so there are couples like that, they are together today, they sleep together tomorrow, they break up and then after a month they get back together. So that's your business. That's your decision. This is how you guys choose to live. But my concern lies about when you guys are not together. How are you sure she's not sleeping with another man? Women lies as much as men lies. Just human being lies. You can't just rely on words for you to trust someone with your life, with your <coughs> private part, with your, your genitals, which are so far healthy, I presume. So you're going to have to get tested. Go with a volunteer say, baby, let's go together. I also want to know. I want to know my status. I want, but if you know already your status is damaged, maybe you have had syphilis in the past, just tell her the truth. I've had syphilis. I was on antibiotics. I don't know whatever antibiotics I was given and the treatment was successful. If you've never got tested, maybe you are a carrier of, I don't know, gonorrhea or something, a um, uh, carrier of, of, of the bacteria. You, can't, you, can't, you kind of want to know as well. So you don't get to pass it on. Because my concern is that you keep on passing the, 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 the parasites or the bacteria or the viruses to other people because you don't know. Like I always say, sometimes we do the wrong thing, not because we want to, just because we don't know how to do the right thing. So we are calling ourselves today to do the right thing. So yes, on and on relationship, you're going to have to get tested because you don't know when you guys are not together who she's sleeping with. You're going to have to know if you and your wife are divorced. I've seen couples like that. They get divorced today and after a few, after a while, a few weeks, they start sleeping together. So before you guys start sleeping together, again, after your divorce, are you sure she didn't sleep with anybody else? So go to the lab, go to the hospital, ask for the panel, get tested, get to know what you guys have, how to fix it. If you guys have nothing, congratulations, I'm so excited. But if you have any sexual transmitted infection, whether it's caused by bacteria, viruses or parasites, please go on treatment. Fix it. Do not pass on the pathogen because there's nothing sexy about sleeping and waking up realizing you've got a sexual transmitted infection from someone that you trusted so much, that you loved so much. It's very devastating. It's depressing. It's extremely bad. So don't pass on the viruses or the bacteria and parasites to someone else who is trusting you. So that's why you need to get tested. Before you get married, ask. Don't just say, I, yes, I do. I'm going to marry you coming from I don't know church background or quiet background or you've had only one serious relationship you can't rely on words only nowadays because people lie as they breathe they lie all the time ask go with her go together you know get to test the lab results get to know her status get to know your status as well and then make the right choice from there so at least you're gonna know where you stand so you're gonna know if that's something you want to pursue for the rest of your life or not so you kind of you have to know that okay yes so another thing is if you okay, there are couples like that they're separated for a while maybe for one or two years or six months and they get back together so they never actually got a divorce but they kind of you know went on a break and get back together that's your decision that's not my problem my concern lies you know about the status of your health because i don't want you to keep passing on the bacteria or the pathogen or the viruses to other innocent souls that may be trusting you with the vaginas or penises or sex or private parts so it's very sad don't pass on don't pass on the pathogen so yes you guys get back together again. So we don't know when you guys were separated as a married couple, if she slept with somebody else. So just go, or he, those who are in a <coughs> different type of relationship. We don't know if your partner, let's just say, did sleep with someone else. So the best thing to do is just to get tested. Mm? Go together, ask, you know, to be screened, ask for um, the panel for all the, uh, sexual transmitted disease that will tell you guys if you guys have um if you guys are positive you guys have the viruses the pathogen or bacteria or not and you can take it from there you can know if you know what you should do and i trust that you make the right decision which will be having the treatment and not passing the, the disease around or the infection to innocent so they may trust you with their lives and in their bodies so i trust you make the right decision this is not sarcasm i'm serious i trust you make the right decision so 
So yes, on and on relationship before you get married, on and on um, separation or divorce, you just kind of want to know. So the fourth point will be you need to know because you knowledge is everything. You can't be naive. You can't be scared. Oh, this girl is really pretty. I've been wanting to go out of uh, with her. I've been you know begging for her attention. Now she finally say yes to go on a date with me. Now she finally in love with me or she finally falling for me. Then I'm gonna go and ask her to go get tested. It's it's it's, it's a low bar. It's ridiculous. There's nothing. There's no such a thing as a ridiculous. There's a wife who got HIV from her husband, and it was only her, not only her, but two of her babies as well got HIV all her life like she felt like everything just collapsed that's the most depressing part get tested it's very important you kind of want to know don't be scared even if she's the most beautiful woman or the most powerful woman or the woman of your dream or she's whatever she is it's nothing compared to being sick from syphilis or being sick having those lesions those everything the symptoms and signs that comes with sexual transmitted disease you don't want to deal with that you don't have to pass the pathogen around pass the disease around so gonna get tested and start the treatment if you test positive and keep protecting yourself if you trust negative just to remind you condom doesn't cover everything doesn't protect you for some sexual transmitted infection for instance for herpes condom only covers a part of the penis so there's also an area of the penis that will not be covered with condom but if now if the virus the herpes virus lies on that area and then the female vulva or vagina gets in contact with that area and there is the virus there so obviously the virus will be transmitted from that area of the penis to the female's vagina and she will get it you will say oh but we use protection we use condom it doesn't cover for everything it doesn't cover for all the sexual transmitted infections it doesn't cover for all the viruses oh some people say the condom can break so how protected are you gonna have to get tested and start the treatment and stop spreading the viruses around yes that's a very good thing so you need to know and another point we're going to talk about i think it's like point six or seven will be uh, the choice for sex workers so i don't know what job does your partner do but let's say you choose to date or marry someone who is in the sexual they call it sexual industry seduction industry like it's a sex worker people who choose to sell the body for money whether the person is giving um strip stripping i don't know uh, services or or is giving sex services uh, for, for, for money or, uh, or gift. So it's a very risky, because it's very difficult to trust every single uh, client of your, 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 your partner to get to know if your partner is have, uh, has a had sex with them. Like people will say, female strippers for instance, will say, oh no, I didn't have sex with him. She's probably thinking about vagina sex, but sex is still sex. Whether you're having oral sex, you're having anal sex, or vagina sex, still sex. You may not have had a vagina sex, but you gave someone oral sex. So, you know, I don't want to get to the terminology. But this can also give you sexual transmitted disease or infections. So you can see lesion in your mouth and so forth. So, it's difficult to trace every single sexual partner or to trace every single client. So, the best thing you have to ask for the test today after watching this video and decide if it's something you want to pursue for the rest of life, it's very important. So, there are so many consequences you will have to deal with if you get sexual transmitted disease infection today. I don't like one of them specifically, I don't like it syphilis, so it's very bad. So, it's a recurrent. You can be treated today, and after you know a while, that same <laughs> parasite can always, uh, you know, it's like a reinfection, let's call it that way attack your brain tissue your central nervous systems you will end up with lesions and you will die we don't want you to die you have plans you have dreams you have a life you have people depending on you that's the most important thing well if you don't care i care because you have people depending on do you really want to go sooner than that and let those people suffer because you choose the pleasure of sex you know that will last probably 10 5 minutes or 30 minutes over your own half no you have to make the right decision and i'm counting on you to make the right decision let me know how the screening will go the results if you are guys test positive or not if you are on treatment you choose to proceed with the relationship or not but this is it i'm nicole and thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet check my other video on how um 
uh, you can um, female also should request for his training that's what a partner or all other videos that we have in this channel and we are happy to have you part of the big family thank you for everything enjoy uh, the rest of your day and let me know how it goes bye